Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We continue our free piping education videos in this channel. Before starting this video please subscribe to our education YouTube channel to watch more piping engineering videos. In this video we will show step by step how to calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows in the pipeline, the cut elbows length and the length of the pipe piece between these elbows in the 3D model view of pipeline. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. We will perform the calculations in this video on a 5 inch 3D model view of pipeline. To find the length of the yellow color pipe piece between these two elbows first we must calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows. On next stage we need to find the lengths of the 5 inch cut elbows and finally from the total length between the centers of the elbows we will subtract the lengths of the cut elbows and the gaps for welding. Let's go step by step. As you can see 5 inch pipeline comes first horizontal then vertical up with 420 mm and then continue horizontally again. Right triangle is formed with dashed lines after the pipeline rises vertically obliquely 420 mm. The hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Let's mark the hypotenuse of this vertical right angle triangle with big letter H. Now let's begin to find the hypotenuse of the vertical right angle triangle. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem formula hypotenuse H squared will be equals 420 squared plus 770 squared. Continue to calculate the age squared, will be equals 769,300. We continue to calculate to find H more easily, H will be equal to 769,300 under the root. At last we will use scientific or phone calculator and found H, will be equals to 877 millimeters. So, the overall length between the centers of the but weld elbows is 877 mm. If we subtract the lengths of the cut elbows and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can find the length of the yellow color pipe section. Now let's mark the cut angle of the elbow with A and calculate this angle. In such cases, we will use the trigonometric function formula to calculate the acute angle of this right triangle or the intercept angle of the elbow. According to the trigonometric function, tangents A degrees will be equals 420 divided by 770. We find that 420 divided by 770 equals 0.5454 using a scientific calculator. Using the calculator we find that our tangents 0.5454 will be equal to 28.6 degree. So we calculated and found that the cutting angle of the following elbow is 28.6 degrees. 28.6 degree is one of the acute angle of the right angle triangle. Now let's start calculating the cutting angle of the second elbow on the top. Let's go step by step. Since the pipeline moves in the same plane let's complete this right triangle into a rectangle. Then this acute angle of the upper right triangle will automatically be 28.6 degrees. 28.6 degree is the cut angle of the top elbow in the same time. Now let's calculate the dimensions of these elbows from the center to the end. Formula for calculating center to end distance of such cut elbows is as follows. Elbow length is equals tangent, elbow degree divided by 2, multiplying 1.5, multiplying nominal pipe size of elbow NPS, multiplying 25.4. For this formula 5 inch 28.6 degree, but weld elbow length is equals tangent 28.6 divided 2 multiplying 1.5, multiplying 5, multiplying 25.4. We used scientific calculator and found 5 inch 28.6 degree but weld elbows length is equals 48.5 millimeters. Now look at the pipe fittings fitted in the pipeline. During fit up there should be a gap of about 3 millimeters between the pipe fittings to be welded. 
Having this gap is for better root welding. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the yellow color pipe section. If we subtract the lengths of the cut elbows and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can find the length of the yellow color pipe section. Let's start to calculate this yellow color pipe section length. Pipe length is equal, total length 877 millimeters, minus 2 times 5 inch 28.6 degree, but weld elbow length 48.5 millimeters, and minus 2 times gaps for welding 3 millimeters. At last we calculate and found length of 5 inch yellow color pipe section on this pipeline is 774 millimeters. By using this method, you can easily calculate pipe length and cut an elbow to any degrees in the pipelines. This tutorial video is finishing here. If you liked our video please subscribe Piping Engineering YouTube channel. For help the development of this education channel is very important our friends supports likes and comments. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Take care.